Well, I might have you film me. <sighs> I need to get one of those nice DSLR cameras that have the swivel lens. So that way, I don't have to ask you to help film for me. No! It's as long as you don't kill me, okay. Okay, all you have to do is aim it at my face. And you have to tell me if I look like I'm in focus or if I'm in blurry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to respond to this really fast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Martha and I are heading to old sunny 100 degree Las Vegas, Nevada. We're staying at a hotel I've been longing to stay at for a couple of years now. Uh, there's a great app called Hotels Tonight, and you can get really nice hotels for cheap if it, you check, depending on the time. And uh, like it'll tell you, wow, these rates are unusually low! Or they'll tell you if they're unusually high. We were in Vegas last week, and there must have been something going on. Uh, I think it was like just the start of summer, so all the kids finishing their prom in high school and even though they're still 18, so what are they really doing in Las Vegas? What can they do in Las Vegas? I went to Las Vegas when I was 20, and I couldn't do shit. Whether it was prom dresses or just like slutty dresses, which makes sense for Las Vegas, right? I don't know. Uh, Martha's never been. <laughs> Martha's 21 now, so she's gonna get crazy drunk, and she's probably gonna gamble and do some, bad, make bad decisions is the point that we're making, right? First time in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. and I'm wrestling. I don't know who I'm wrestling yet, but I'm wrestling tomorrow, Friday, May 5th, at uh, FSW Future Stars of Wrestling at the Silverton Casino. At the Silverton Casino, this is the first time I've wrestled and uh, performed at the Silverton Casino. FSW has three venues, I believe, two casinos, and then one little uh, a private like studio building and I had two matches at that little venue I got invited recently and now they would like me to come fight at the big time casino so we'll be on the road for the next four hours or so you've been to Chuck E. Cheese enough to know that they have burnt pizza that's all they sell I like the game that you could like it gave you a picture and then you pick a color and then you basically like color in the picture by touching the screen. You remember that one? I didn't really like going there after I almost drowned in the ball pit once. How do you drown in solids? Well, I guess you could drown in dirt. That's too small. It was a big pit. What were those things called? In the ball tunnels? Pins? No, like you in know, you like crawl tubes? around like in, in the, the oh, tubes. Yeah. <laughs> that like, that always had the slide at the very top. Yeah. Yeah. Good game. Good game. Is it, a, is it a game or is it a toy? It's not anything, it's just dirty. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna let your kids play in it? No. <clears throat> Maybe once. No! Evan, it's breaking. Oh no. How do you oh shit! What? It, it really is breaking. Yeah, it is. I don't know why I never take the case off. Well, well. it's a cheap gift from a cheap man. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> How is it looking? Good. Is the lens like, is it look artistic? <laughs> because I can Screw tell you. that because I, I can tell <laughs> that I'm framed to the left, which is good. And then I have like some looking space, right? Is that how it's shot? You want to keep talking, or are we done here? Well, we'll check back in when uh, we're at. Yeah, turn it off. <laughs> Oh! Ow, dude! Ow! This is a very unusual architecture decision. So I'm at Wendy's in the bathroom, and sure you come in, there's the sink, there's the stall. But the urinal's right there. So it's like, what I'm wondering is if I'm exposing my manhood, my mahoogan, for someone to just walk right in the door, and I'm just out in the open for everyone to see. Weird play. Film this giant palm tree that looks like it's about to get planted in the ground. Oh, uh, about to die. It falls off. Got it? it? Yeah, I got wow, it. Wow, look at that. Look at it. Aw, oh, yeah. Good shot. Mm -hmm. 
See, I totally knew it. I knew, I was like, how in the hell do palm trees really like grow? You don't just like plant them. I guess they're shipped. They're shipped and then they're planted while they're already huge. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a baby palm tree ever, you know? I, there's a little one in front of my house. Outback Steakhouse is disguised as a McDonald's. The lunch of champions. Ow, dude! Martha got me that keychain. Take two. Martha got me that keychain. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> do I go the. Do I follow that car? Follow that car! That one! No! I, go that way! I know! Follow the GPS! Wow, look at all that. Traffic. Look at all those chickens! Am I not supposed to be driving on this lane, babe? Wow, you're in the truck lane? What are I'm you doing in the truck lane? <laughs> I'm slow! Slow vehicles only! Wow! Yes. Holy crap! What? It goes all the way! Oh my god! Jesus! It's over, yeah, it's over, yeah, I'm leaving. Puppin' tree and penis. See that? We can see that. How anticlimactic. Castle. That's Excalibur. You know what? They named it the win, right? Because you win at the win? No, it's because the guy who made it, his last name is Win. Derp. Those ladies were totally not speaking English. Let me guess, don't they know they're in America? And let's just say that this is America. <laughs> wow, we got a long walk. We're isolated. What if we have a corner room? <gasps> we have a corner room, I bet. Have you ever been ready for a moment ever this much in your entire life? I'm so ready to take this jacket off. This is pretty good, but the palms was... I'd still say the palms was better and I haven't even really taken my stuff off yet. Or is this view asshole casserole? How do I even open this? What'd you press? Ah. I stay in the nicest rooms, in the nicest hotels, on the Las Vegas Strip. <laughs> I just play in. What did he say? Nothing, he just looked for a second like, are you? Like he had that kind of look on his face. Like, am I okay with this? Like, am I okay? Am I, are you okay with you dating me? Like, I'm a scrub. What? What, what are you, you talking uh, about? I don't know. What do you say? He said the guy was looking at you like, why are you videotaping me? It's like even gives a fuck about him. Who? The guy in the pool? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say anything about you being. I think I can suck my balls to my drawers. There's our hotel, the Wynn. That's Encore over there. It's very similar. I know, because they're part of the same. Shut up, bird. God dang it. They're owned by the same Mr. Wynn. Gosh. Can't stand the goddamn bird. Hey, how's it going? Evan's first swim. <laughs> Remember Billy Madison? Yeah. So? bumped into me well you get you gave me this look like what was it the hair was it i don't know i just saw you and you're oh, just like walking by him. each other we yeah. look at each other kind of have that yeah, the eyebrow too fan yeah. from brazil yeah what was your name joe john 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 the secret handshake right oh, there yeah a snap at the end of it too man dude nice to meet you so nice you never know you who you're gonna meet <laughs> Caesar's Palace right now, going into the Forum shops. 
heading over to the Cheesecake Factory as a as a pre-fight warm-up. Get some grub. But uh, it's one of the coolest places. I wanted to take Martha here to check this out because I'll show you the scenery right here. It's bellowed curved walls. So it looks like you're like outside. And it's a uh, Roman themed. The Roman Colosseum. Eating Chris's outrageous cheesecake. It's outrageous. Bits of coconut in there. Man, I'm fat as. There he is. It's Jew Stone. Stew Stone. I was gonna get a uh, Johnny Rockets burger on my way in. You guys hungry? Hey, you wanna do some balloon magic? Wow, balloon. S cell phone and balloon. Wow. It's very formal for a recipe. No. Wow, Jarek 120 gear. Classic merch table. Got the Sir Reality shirts. Sir Reality business cards for freezies. Got the wristbands. Got uh, Love and Sex and Magic and Deception. Jarek 120 saved my life. A Detroit shirt that's shaped like a gun. A skull that's formed uh, from Detroit D's. Jarek 120 skull caps. And uh, the Disturbed Reality Skull and Crown shirt. That's the one that looks. That's the front, that's the back. And uh, we got decks of cards too. So that's pretty cool. Stretch and roll around a little bit and basically just kind of run it and try to get used to the ring so my feet can understand the distance of one rope to the other and one buckle to the other buckle. Let's see if the ropes are nice and taut for. Anything stupid I may or may not want to do. Professional wrestling's only illusionist, hypnotist, and escape artist, Jarek 120, along with Jarek the Destroyer!
What's your name? Yeah. Shane. Shane? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. And then I looked down, I was like, oh, I think that's really you. That's awesome. Congrats, Chan. I hear you did a magic trick for my grandmother. I did. It was a spectacular magic trick, probably the greatest magic trick she'll ever see in her entire life. She told me that this has been the best experience wrestling and magic wise she's ever had. Really? In Las Vegas? In Las Vegas. Well, look at that. Jack 120. The world's only <laughs> illusionist professional wrestler. So, what's his name? Did you say his name was Jarek? Oh, my God, I want to yes. know. Jared went for it? Jared went for it. How do you mean? Jared. How you feeling? I feel okay. Good. Good. Healthy though? You banged up? Physically, I'm healthy. Psychologically, I probably need to seek professional help that's not covered by Obamacare, so I'm not going to get that help. Okay, well, you have a locker room for He's going to help me. You know the wrestlers, and we're all uh, self-taught psychiatrists. Right, Sean? Huh? Yeah. That's kind of running around my I'm hitting the old dusty trail. You too, brother. Hopefully I'll see you here again or something. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, definitely. More so in Vegas, because you live out here now, right? Are you enjoying it? Or is it hot as fuck? Yeah, it's hot as fuck and it's cold as fuck, so I hate Vegas. I'm sorry. Do you like living in Vegas? Um, I don't know. I haven't really explored anything yet. I've never been to the strip. Never been to the strip, but I've been here 20 years. Oh, I had a business meeting at MGM once. That was it. One year. See you. See you. Good morning. Happy 6 a.m. I'm glad we didn't get God either. Yeah, so we're driving home from Las Vegas last night around 11.30, maybe around the show ended, 11. And it said it was going to take us, uh, we wouldn't get home till 4 a.m. We didn't really get on the road until 12.30. Oh, really? We stopped, yeah, because we got food. Yeah, I almost fell asleep. Martha took over. Martha almost fell asleep. So, I told her, you feel just even one head bob, you gotta pull over. So, yeah, you, know, you got you got like 20 head bobs in there? Yeah. Wow. She was fighting. So, I was. And she's like, I need you to drive, and I was in, I couldn't win that fight. So we slept for probably a good three hours, maybe. And then we got really on the road at around 4.15 a.m. driving. And so we'll be home the next hour. But it was a fun show at FSW. And uh, the next show is going to be a championship wrestling from Hollywood. That's on June 14th at uh, Port Juanini, California. The next FSW show. Uh, I think there's gonna be another one sooner than this, but the next big one is gonna be at Sam's Town Casino in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. That's gonna be on June 28th, and I will be there. So if you guys are in Las Vegas, come on, check it out. It was awesome. It was the biggest crowd I wrestled in front of. It was awesome. Martha liked it. Martha liked it. Like, like the big, big one. I think that's like one, one to two thousand people. Really? Yeah. What is it? Yesterday was like, or last night was like five hundred to six hundred people. But Samstown on June twenty eighth, it's like one to two thousand. So crazy like that. That's been fun, guys. But uh, come out to Hollywood if you're in California. June 14th, and uh, if you're in Las Vegas, come out and hang out on the strip, why not? June 20th, peace.